good afternoon everybody it's mark welcome back so we are gonna go on this tour we're going on the duck boat I'm gonna be your tour guide for the next 90 minutes. 30 minutes on one side of Washington DC, 30 minutes into the mighty Potomac River. 30 minutes back out on the other side of Washington DC, going right back where we started. Today, you happen to sit on an original World War II military surplus amphibious vehicle, born in 1945. Before we gotta get any further, I am required to give you a safety briefing, and that is required by the Coast Guard. Once we get into the river, should we discover anything unusual while we're in there, I'm going to advise everybody, grab one of those life jackets on top, goes up for the adults, 70 pounds and over. For anybody under 70 pounds, they're underneath the seat, okay? Once you grab one of those life jackets, look for the name of the duck. It's going to be a front sign. Well, today happens to be your very lucky day. Come on now. <laughs> <laughs> Only thing you do, unclip the clip, let it fall. Tag a little bit left and right to make this a little bit bigger. Put your hand right, I mean your head right through it. Okay? Just like that. Very simple. There is a strap on the side you're going to pull to make this a little bit tighter to attention. Any questions? Huh? You good? Yep. Yeah. You sure? Yep. Positive. Uh, you want to practice? No. <laughs> We don't want to jinx it. <laughs> All right. Now, since you're sitting on an original World War II military surplus vehicle, born in 1945, it shouldn't come too much of a shock to you guys. It doesn't come with any shock observers. <laughs> they didn't need them back in the 40s. We still don't have them, okay? In other words, stay seated while we're on the road. Once we get in the water, you're more than welcome. Get up, move around, change seats, do a little yoga. I don't have any breaks in the water. Like my grandma. Good year. Good year. Good year, that's right. Wine <laughs> always gets better with the years. <laughs> All right, folks, uh, buckle up and put your seatbelts on. We're going in. Yeah, good luck to find no seatbelts right away. They didn't need them either. <laughs> I am going to get you guys started on the right hand side with Union Station, built in 1907 by a very famous Chicago architect by the name of Daniel Burnham. Now good old Daniel had a vision. His vision was, I'm going to build this after a 2,000 year old Roman bathhouse. As you can see, he pretty much succeeded. <laughs> So even though we face the difficulties of today and tomorrow, I still have a dream. And of course that is Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. on the right hand side, we got the Freedom Plaza. That is where Dr. King started his march in 1963 over to the Abraham Lincoln's Memorial where he held his famous speech. Oh yeah, my right hand side, right across that white corner looking building with the blue awning. That happens to be our famous Willard Hotel. That is actually where Dr. King is inside. They are going to reopen in August this year. Mr. President, get ready. We're coming. Up, which happens to be Lady Freedom. Now, nothing, and I mean nothing, stands taller than her here in Washington, D.C. She is 19 and a half feet tall, and she weighs 15,000 pounds. Now, folks, honestly, does she look great for that kind of weight? <laughs> I don't know how she does it. Here's another union on the right-hand side, one of the biggest ones. It is surrounded by beautiful chair trees, but of course, they already bloomed earlier this year, and they only last about a week, week and a half. Those are those two beautiful statues right beside the stairs. And that's why I always get confused. Maybe you can help me out here. Can anybody please tell me which grevin is the he, which grevin is the she, and where is she? She was in charge of social security 
minimum wage, child labor. She was in her office from 1933 till 1945. Folks, in other words, she was in labor for 12 years. No, that did not come out right. Holy schmoly. One of these days I'm gonna get that right. Now, back in the late 30s, around 1938, when the minimum wage started, what do you think it started with? Give me a number. How much? 25 cents. 25 cents, new to low. One dollar. One dollar, new to high. 50 cents. Now you got it. <laughs> yeah, 50 cents an hour. We came a long way. Here on the right hand side, we got the Judiciary Square. That's where all the local and some federal courthouses are of the district. The most famous one is all the way on my right hand side back here that we're hearing sell for Watergate, Iran Contra, even the trial of John Hinckley, the guy who tried to assassinate Ronald Reagan was held in that building over there. Embassy. You're about to see water flowing down that wall here. That represents the Niagara Falls. All those pillars on top. They represent all the signs and dedication to our First Amendment. It is called the Museum. You gotta notice all those newspapers displayed along the wall. They are mainly from all the other states. And they're being changed each and every morning to the newest edition. Now, this is not a public museum. It is privately owned, so you do have to pay entrance for it. It is worth it, trust me. Also, Pennsylvania Avenue is used every four years as the parade route for our new elected president. All of those traffic lights that you see, established in 1935. That's why we have all our important documents inside, like the Constitution, the Bill of Rights. We even got a copy of the Magna Carta inside that building. On the right hand side, the United States Navy Memorial, built in 1988. Now all of that water that you see flowing, it is said being collected from all the seven seas in the world, mixed together, brought over here just for that memorial. And you know the Navy can do that. The internal rip-off service, I do understand. And of course here on my left hand side, the old post office pavilion. Built in 1899, now Trump International Hotel. In the middle is a tower, it's called the Bell Tower. It is 315 feet up, still accessible to the public, but only from the sides of the hotel. It is a very huge building, it has over 36,000 objects inside for you to explore. And the way they did it inside is actually very uniquely made as well. You start at the bottom with the earliest years of slavery. You work your way up towards the present. That's also where his helicopter, Marine One, actually picks him up. Now, today is the president's birthday, by the way. Yeah, he is 73 years old. We're on this lawn. Over 3,000 children and adults were on this lawn. And as tradition goes, the First Lady always comes out with a basket full of Eastern eggs for the children. Step all the way straight down to the Abram Lincoln's Memorial. Yeah, I'm there, Chief. See? There you go. Now, Abram Lincoln's Memorial was built in 1922 for the 16th president by an architect by the name of Henry Bacon. Right in front of his memorial, you are going to discover the famous reflecting pool. 
And if my memory serves me right, folks, all the way down there on the right-hand side corner of that reflecting pole, all the way there, that is where I believe Force Gump met Jenny. Also on my right-hand side is at the moment a beautiful, nice opening. A memorial dedicated to our 36th president by the name of Lyndon B. Johnson. This big granite was taken from his ranch in Stonewall, Texas. All right, folks, before I'm going to go any further, i got to call my headquarters uh, to make sure to check the radar because we do not want any surprises of Mother Nature waiting for us while we're in the river. Moment of truth. And that's how you become a boat. You just drive into it.
you are going to notice all the engraved animals. They started out west back in the day. In the left hand side, we do have the uh, free of the museum. Right next to it is the Sackler Museum. Both of them house Asian arts. Now, if you ever wondered where it all started with those museums, well, here on the left hand side, the very first one, the Smithsonian Castle. That's where it all started. It took about eight years to build this one. Now, the second building right after the castle is this red building on my left, built in 1879, the Arts and Industry Museum. They are currently closed to auto renovation. Next to it, the round building is the Hirschhorn Museum. They have a psych art. Folks, never ever park in front of our museums. Please, we found a better way to teach you a lesson. Check this out. <laughs> the Air and Space Museum on my left hand side. Not only are you going to discover the Wright Brothers fire in there, it also has the spirit of St. Louis, the plane that was used by Charles Lindbergh for his very first transatlantic flight from New York to Paris. They have it. Over 9 million come here each and every year just to get a glimpse of it. They also have an authenticated moon rock that you can actually touch, which happens to be the American Indian Museum. Now, if you look at it, it just kind of resembles the canyons in the southwest or midwest. But if you look closely, a boss with a corner office, please be careful. <laughs> to Ronald Reagan on the east side, on the other side. Ronald Reagan sought this tradition to do it here on the west side because he wanted to look to call Cincinnati. On the left hand side, he is covered by his artillery. On the right hand side, he is covered by his cavalry. He was a two term president, and when you have right in front of us in the circle, it is called the Peace Monument, dedicated to all the sailors that lost their lives during the Civil War. All those beautiful trees on my right hand side surrounding our capital. They are very special. And the reason for that is each one of those trees inside here has a plaque on them. I'm going to show you exactly right here. You can see those plaques on those two trees. Each one in there has one. It tells you exactly what kind of tree it is and where it actually comes from. Did you know that Washington DC has the most variety of trees anywhere in the world in this city. It is also called the City of Trees. Here on my right hand side we have the Caroline Tower. And when we left Union Station you did hear the bells. That came from that tower on my right hand side. <coughs> wow. I'll tell you that. What a good time we had on the duck cruise. I'd do it again, for sure. I recommend it. Well, how's bells? Watch your mouth, a family tour. Oh my God.